Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, everyone. Today is such an interesting day because we managed to pull Delicious as our opponent for Guild Wars. Delicious is known as one of the best guild in Asia. And not only is it the best guild in Asia, it has the most streamers in its guild. As you can see here, we have Sean B, we have Iceland Grown, and we should have YDCV, but I can't seem to find him anywhere. So before I went to the, the guild war, I have asked my guild if I'm allowed to attack anyone because I feel like uh, doing a tribute to my streamers because they are the one who motivated me and inspired me to stream. So I wanted to attack Sean V Defend and Iceland Grown and possibly YD, but sadly since we cannot find YD, I might have to settle for the best three, which is as Fox 13. Now I've asked permission for my guildmate and they say, yeah, just do it. They said, yeah, we're gonna lose anyway. <laughs> Come on, guys, don't be so pessimist. All right, Sean. For Sean, Brewster come at the top. I'm going to go free to play with K-Moon, Firth, and Skogel. As for the bottom, I feel like cliffing this comb, but it's so risky when you cliff this comb. So I'm going to use uh, Fran for the immunity against Sean and Diana and Etna to deal with Theo. Let's get straight to it. Oh. Am I going to get my ass handed by Sean? Sean V, the self-claimed G1 RTA players. <laughs> well. Among all the streamers, I've been watching Sean V most because he's my favorite. Uh, YD is also my favorite. But uh Sean Sean is a professional. He's been streaming Summer's War for the tournament and his commentary is really good. Ooh. Chill Chandra, chill. Mm hmm. Thank god my uh Skogel is on 100 resistance. Or else things would have gone real bad. Focus on Wind Panda. And Wind Panda is out of the picture. Alright, second comp. John, please use your third skill on everyone now when we have immunity. Good girl. Wait, wait, wait. I just realized something. <laughs> I forgot to turn on the music for this fight. Okay, right, guys, be right. Oh, God. <laughs> They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. For this fight, there is no uh, music, but I assure you for the next fight, I will put on music. <laughs> so sorry for that. <laughs> Alright, Sean. Thanks for giving. Uh, thanks for the opportunity to attack your defense. Alright, now we have the music on. We can start. Uh, to we can start with our next streamer, which is Island Grown. For the first comp, I'm just gonna pray that I'm going to outspeed him. Iceland has also been one of my favorite streamers, 
especially back in the days when he were uh, he was a trio with Shredded Puzzle and Claytano. Those three went together are so good, Have, especially when they were on the 2018 tournament flock. That was so good. But yeah, thanks to certain circumstances, Shredded and Claytano. You guys know what happened, right? <laughs> Don't need to go into the tea in this one. What's the tea? You guys know what happened. Oh! Well, that's unfortunate. So, I'm still going for the Ciara because Ciara is the threat in this one. Don't proc, don't stun. Proc. Good Ciara. Actually, I'm not going to detonate. Stun. Another stun. <laughs> Good job. Now we're going to stun. Actually, I'm not confident that the bomb is going to kill Ciara, so I'm going to put another one on her. And now, it's GG. This is what's so good about Jan. With good enough runes, she can perma provoke the opponent. And she's free to play. Damn. Put another bomb on you. Actually, that was my first bomb on you. Don't counter. Wait, is the bomb going to, to be enough? No. Strip. And this is going to secure the win for us. Alright, moving on to the second comp. This comp actually reminds me of Sean Beast's uh, first comp. It's Bruceris. So I'm going straight for Perna in this one. I don't wanna attack Chandra with my Fert, cause Fert will most likely glance and the passive will not uh, go off. Uh, but now that. Woo! That's unfortunate. But now that uh, Chandra is hugging Perna, this is going to be a little troublesome. I don't wanna attack Perna cause Chandra will counter on my Fert, but I also do not wanna attack Wind Panda cause Wind Panda is going to counter and put defense break on my unit. What do you guys think I should do? <laughs> I'm such in such a dilemma right now. Actually, uh, let's just go for Chandra. I have no choice but to go for Chandra now. Wind Panda has allowed us to attack him. That proc was actually in our favor. Crit. <laughs> Fert, just like Perna is going to crit on opposing weak elements, I swear. Now we can go for Perna again. Put heal block. And oh. I thought Perna for sure was already dead just now. Ah not Oh had that Perna proc it would be the end of this comp. Alright, we got this, boys! Oh, stop doing that. Wind Panda isn't going to solo my whole team, right? There's no way, right?
and GG. That's done just now. Has just secured our win. So far, we've got the perfect wins against Elysia. Now, the question is, can we get a per... I mean, can we get a plus 3 people in the guild? Because if we do, I think it would be amazing. But these guys right here, they're all scary. They are the giant in Summoner's War. I mean, look at that! Look at that, look at those auras. Scary. So for the first comp, I'm just going to pray that Molong is going to reckless on Laika and Perna is not going to proc twice to take out Laika's life. And for the second team, yeah, uh, Giant Warrior versus Giant Warrior. I think that would be interesting to see. Now, do I want to put up immunity here? I think not. We should wait until the Light Oracle uses her second skill and derps. Molong didn't go for Reckless. Crit! Nah. Now that she has used her second skill, we're going to buff up the immunity. And we're Gucci! My Laika isn't max skilled yet, so his second skill is on 4 turns cooldown. See, 4 turns cooldown. <laughs> There's not enough Devil one in the world to run all the red fights we have. Persistent. Okay, for this one, I'm actually kind of worried because I do not know what the Dark Skull Girl can do actually. I hope it's nothing crazy. <laughs> Stones. Ooh. Maybe I want to go uh, on the win, Archangels. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this John! She's on freaking steroid! I'm not sure which target to attack. I keep switching target. Okay, John's out of the picture. You two, get out of here. Now, is it possible that this Dark Skogel is going to solo me? That's weird. I'm not sure what the Dark Skogel can do, but yeah, I guess it's similar to Skogel in the sense that he throws rock, get additional turn, nuke everyone. So that's it for the Guild War, guys. Uh, once again, I would like to give a quick shout out to Sean B, Iceland Grown, and YDCB, or to all the streamers out there. Keep doing you and keep entertaining the community with all your great contents. I'll see you all later. Peace out.